CCTV video obtained by Reuters showed the moment suspects in Argentina ran away from a clothing store they had allegedly looted. A recent wave of reported vandalism and theft like this around Argentina has led to dozens of arrests and sparked fear among shopkeepers hesitant to open their businesses. The cause is unclear, but there are signs of increasing volatility from the country's inflation shooting up over 100 percent, stoking a cost of living crisis, as well as a tense race to general elections in October. The owner of this mobile phone store in the capital, Buenos Aires, said he was afraid to open, but he had little choice. The looters get off the bus out of the blue. You don't even expect them and get in and take you by surprise. You don't have time for anything. One takes the precautions he considers are more suited for himself. There are people who say it's better to shut down until the storm passes. But if the looting started now, at the end of August, without even getting to December, I don't want to even imagine what will happen in December. The thing is that if I don't open the store, I don't eat. Authorities said more than 100 people have been detained in different parts of Argentina. Police officers were mobilized to guard shops. Argentina is grappling with annual inflation that now sits at 113 percent, and J.P. Morgan estimates it could hit an eye-watering 190 percent by the end of the year. A recent sharp devaluation of its currency has made things more expensive, and it's all ratcheting up an already ugly three-way race for the presidency currently led by radical libertarian Javier Millet, who has ridden a wave of voter anger over inflation and hardship. He's pledged to dollarize the economy and get rid of Argentina's central bank. The International Monetary Fund on Wednesday approved a $7.5 billion disbursement for Argentina. The country has been the IMF's largest debtor after years of economic crisis. Argentina's government hopes the new cash will help stabilize the country, with elections just around the corner.